six EU nations are calling for the bloc's migration policies to be toughened amid fears of an open door for Afghan asylum seekers. In a letter to the European Commission, the member states called for the deportation of Afghans to continue despite the advance of the Taliban in the country. The Taliban, fighting to reimpose strict Islamic law, have made huge gains in their campaign to defeat the government as Western forces pull out. Austria, Denmark, Belgium, Greece, Germany and the Netherlands have backed calls against halting deportations back to Afghanistan. They wrote, stopping returns sends the wrong signal and is likely to motivate even more Afghan citizens to leave their home for the EU. This is why we urge you and your teams at the Commission to intensify talks with the Afghan government on how returns to Afghanistan can and will continue in the coming months. Many EU governments are concerned chaos in the region could be a major contributing factor to the emergence of another migrant crisis. It has already been claimed that Belarus regime is using the conflict to wage a hybrid war on Brussels by assisting illegal migration into the bloc. The Commission has confirmed that it has received the letter and will respond to their concerns in due course. A spokesman for the Brussels-based executive said, at an EU level there ISNT a list of countries considered safe relating to asylum applications or for returns. It's up to each member state to assess, the country of origin and the situation of the person concerned. The issue is expected to be raised at an emergency meeting of EU Home Affairs Ministers on August 18. Since 2015, some 570,000 Afghans have requested asylum in the EU. There was 44,000 requests made last year alone. The concerned EU countries said, we fully recognize the sensitive situation in Afghanistan in light of the foreseen withdrawal of international troops. There is an estimated 4.6 million displaced Afghans. Governments want Brussels to increase cooperation with Afghanistan, Pakistan and Iran to support extra support to refugees. A senior EU official warned that some 400,000 Afghans have been displaced over recent months and that in the last few days there has been an increase in numbers of people fleeting to Iran. The Eurocrat said the situation should be seen as less dramatic than recent crises in Syria and Iraq because Kabul has a solid government the EU can work with. He said, given the context, it is hard to imagine that we would conduct forced return operations for the moment.